Okay, it's the beginning of the live stream today. Sunday, it's 3 p.m. Bangkok time in Thailand. And if people are joining here right now, I'm, I can ask, I can answer to the questions. Why is the image so blur, even from here? It's weird. Anyway, um, so if you don't know already, I'm doing a 30-day sugar challenge. Um, it involves to have 500 grams of sugar per day, which is more or less one pound of sugar per day. And if you have questions about it, then it's the right moment to ask them. <laughs> and at the moment, I'm having this sugar. This is caramel and granular sugar, granulated sugar. It's good. And if you are coming here, just ask your question, just say hi. Don't hesitate. I don't bite. <laughs> I'm not a crazy lady, I'm just a bit special. <laughs> Hello. So it's been uh, 19 days for videos about sugar. It's going well. And I have not included uh, the week when I was racing because I had absolutely no time to do this kind of videos, I was so focused on racing, but I was still eating. You had time, you were just far off from the stages. Yeah, I, I needed some time to, to recover. <laughs> mm. And this one is super good. Like, all sugars are good, but some of them are better than the others. Yeah. I guess my channel is too small for this kind of live stream. Mm. Too bad. Okay. What can I say about this challenge? Well, of course, a lot of people don't understand because the society has formatted everyone to fear sugar and to ignore the dangers of animal products and oil. But here I am. I'm doing that for yeah, more than 20 days and I'm fine, I'm happy. And I don't have any bad symptoms that people say I should have. and It's going well. <laughs> Uh, so at the moment, I'm uh, drinking that sugar, I'm just dissolving that in water and it's really tasty. Well, caramel. Who doesn't like caramel? <laughs> yeah, our taste buds are sensitive to what <clears throat> our body wants, to what our brain wants. Yeah, you can say hello if you're coming here. I won't bite. <laughs> um, what else? I'm drinking like five liters of water per day here in Thailand because it's so hot even when we are not moving very much we are still sweating we need to drink so we stay hydrated and every time um, I wake up in the morning I am dehydrated that's a fact I just need to smash the water like yeah one liter or almost one liter and then I feel fine then my wrinkles here they disappear and everything's fine <laughs> okay you know so it's been three minutes and no one is saying anything. No, no, I'm not going to cry. It's okay. I just wanted to try if um, a live stream was going to do anything. Damn, the image is still blur. Maybe I did not clean my lens properly. Hmm. Yeah, I'll check that later. Um, so today I'm doing the sugar video day 19, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> um, well, basically, I'm eating the same thing every day, like fruit for breakfast all the time. And then, it depends, fruit or starches for lunch. Yeah, if Paul is around, I would be very tempted to eat something with him, like rice or rice noodles. And, I don't know, for dinner, it depends. Sometimes I go to a restaurant, but at the restaurant, it's, it's salty, it's oily. It's not so good. We do that sometimes. But it's not the healthiest option, for sure. Mm. But I love restaurants. Especially in Chiang Mai. There are so many vegan restaurants. Wow. <laughs> when I first came here, I was... Wow. I want to try everything. Every vegan option in, in Chiang Mai. <laughs> and I almost did it. That was cool. But it's not super good for weight loss because of the oil and stuff. And if I don't go to the restaurant, then at dinner I'm just eating like normally. Sometimes fruit, sometimes starches, and I have some veggies. Uh, let me show you what I have here right now. Um, 
Yeah, but some pak choy. So we just boil them for two or three minutes and then that so soft and a little sweet. And some pumpkin. Oh, the Thai pumpkin is so delicious. I love it. Like it's even better than the European varieties. So I cook that for as long as it needs to be soft and sweet. And yeah, we just have some spices and rice and rice noodles here. That's all. We are so lucky we have um, a market just near to, from our place. And we just have to walk for two or three minutes and we can buy our fresh veggies, fresh food uh, every day. Hey Tori, thank you to, to come here. <laughs> Oh, we uh, we live really near from each other. That's cool. <laughs> mm. Oh, I must still eat this sugar. <laughs> I will finish it by the end of the day. Uh, to ask if I get the pumpkin from Tesco Lotus. Yeah, yeah. Today the lady that was cooking the pumpkin. She was not here. Maybe I came there too late. I don't know. So I went to Tesco Lotus and. Uh, I bought it in plastic, I know it's bad. Yeah. yeah, the supermarket, everything is wrapped in plastic. That's so annoying. I feel bad. So that's why I prefer to buy stuff at the market. Like bananas, you can buy them in a bunch at the market with a plastic. Whereas I'm going to try to give you a plastic bag, but every time I say no. And for example, at 7 Eleven, they have the bananas in a in a plastic bag, one plastic bag for one banana. That's so ridiculous because the banana already has a, a wrapping, an, a biodegradable wrapping. Oh. So we try to educate people to use less plastic. Um, where's my bag? I got to the market with a, a bag made of fabric. And I reuse the plastic they gave me as much as possible. And I even throw the peels through the balcony because there is a park here. Best view ever. Yeah, I'm so happy we found this place. Uh, yeah, I've seen the, the snap you sent me, Tori. It was a um, sugar from Tesco Lotus, right? <laughs> was it good? Oh yeah, the lady uh, is not at the market on on Sunday. Okay, it's good to know. Mm. Yes, I don't have the, the sugar in, in a tub anymore. Finished it yesterday. But yeah, it's good. It's better than the other one we tried in a square box. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have any, anything else to do. Ah, yeah, for tomorrow I have something else. I don't know if you know that, guys. Yeah, it is edible. They call it duku or langsat. I love it. Uh, it's just a, a bit annoying to open, but it's not so hard actually. What I do is uh, I take one ball, I squeeze it slightly with my teeth and then it opens a bit and I finish to open it with my hand and then I can eat the inside. There is a stone inside. You can try to eat it, but it's not very good. So just leave it. <laughs> It tastes like lychee, more or less. Uh, it's hard to compare with other food. Uh, why are you having dinner tonight? I don't know. I think I'm going to, to eat here and eat rice noodles. We want rice and ketchup, right? Yeah, it's simple. What about you, Tori? <laughs> it's Tori on the live stream. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. We've got followers. Yeah. So here, it's getting popular. Yeah. So here we are using, we are having water from the water machines outside. It's good. And water from the tap is not drinkable here. Water. We have to get water every time and we are, we are heavy drinkers. So we need to go out and get our drinks every day. Mm. Do you want to go to home? No. Why would I want to go home? I don't know. If I've got this. Chips, ah, oh, baby, chips. Pimple material. That's more for you to squeeze. You don't let me squeeze. 
All ninjas squeeze. Mm. Nah, that's not the truth. Some are not nice yeah. Oh, another question. Um, if I can cook rice noodles in the rice cooker, yeah, absolutely. You can cook uh, rice, rice noodles, potatoes, sweet potatoes, vegetables in the rice cooker. The only thing is that a rice cooker is made for rice and it will stop when the rice is cooked. Basically, when there's no more water left. Um, if you're cooking something else, just make sure there's always some water left and stop the rice machine when it's cooked. You just you have to wash it. Popcorn. Yeah, you can try. <laughs> we knew that. Yeah, it's not so nice. <laughs> because it sticks to the bottom and you have to yeah. clean it and the coating is quite delicate so they don't want to damage it. <laughs> it's easy. Like we cook everything in the rice cooker. Mm -hmm. The best place to buy a bike lock. Hey James! <laughs> uh, buy, I bought my bike lock at Monk Cycles. You know, there are, there are numbers, no key, and it's better for us because we're sharing the bike lock. Uh, yeah, a number is it's, it's good. But I'm sure they have some bike locks in every bike shop here. Yeah. Chips. Ah. Drug addict is eating chips. I'm addicted, man. Baby, I'm addicted! <laughs> Show them. <laughs> Show one of them. Like okay, yeah. Green, it's green. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Tori, for coming here. Uh, it's been 11 minutes. We're going to stop the live stream. Uh, see you guys.